Mr. President, two questions about uh, a couple of things you've tweeted about in the last few days. Uh, were you meaning to criticize Vice President Biden for wearing a mask yesterday? And can you explain why you've been tweeting about a conspiracy theory that has been proven to not be true? No, Biden can wear a mask, but he was standing uh, outside with his wife, perfect conditions, perfect weather. They're inside, they don't wear masks. And so I thought it was very unusual that he had one on. But I thought that was fine. I wasn't criticizing him at all. Why would I ever do a thing like that? And uh, your second question was, I couldn't hear you. The can, second you can you take it up? Because I cannot hear I'll, you. I'll just speak louder, sir. Oh, okay, good. You want to be politically correct. Go ahead. No, sir. I just want to wear go the ahead, mask. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the second question was about your tweets about the, the woman who died, who you're suggesting that Joe Scarborough was responsible. Yeah, a lot of people suggest that. And. Uh, Hopefully, someday, people are going to find out. It's certainly a very suspicious situation, very sad. Very sad and very suspicious. Uh, question, please. I've asked you not to tweet, tweet ahead, about please, it anymore, go. sir. Mr. President, though, have you seen the letter that was written uh, by her husband begging Twitter to, to delete your tweets, talking about how hard it's been for his family, for him yeah, to I deal have, with but that? but I'm sure that ultimately they want to get to the bottom of it, and it's a very serious situation. I also saw a uh, clip with... Uh, with Joe and Imus, uh, where they were having a lot of fun at her expense, and I thought it was totally inappropriate. No, it's a very suspicious thing, and uh, I hope somebody gets to the bottom of it. It'll be a very good thing. As you know, there's no statute of limitations, so it would be a very good, uh, very good thing to do. Okay, who's next? Any questions on insulin? Yeah, please. Mr. President, there's a bill in.